Welcome YouTube. This is Tony O's house. We're back here at Dom's Tank. Today we're going to go over some test kits. We're going to review uh, API, uh, Tetra test strips, and also Marine Labs Red Sea test kit. Um, we're just going to test nitrates today, and as you know, nitrates are the result of uh, ammonia breaking down to less harmful uh, uh, nitrate compound and uh, what tends to happen is uh, not enough water changes your nitrates keep up and in our case look at that bio load we've got some big fish in here and that we have to feed throughout the day so our nitrates are through the roof so we just want to make sure that the nitrates are kept in check and uh, they obviously see me standing over here with the iPad so they're uh, a little curious as to what's going on but uh, we're going to go ahead and show you the nitrate test now. So that, uh, but that's the that's the uh, fish tank. How they're doing? Might as well pan over to our quarantine tank. Everybody's doing good over there. Uh, unfortunate update: Prince, our purple tang, did not survive the ick. So uh, we are certainly in the experimental mode. We're trying different strategies on fish that have become ill with ick. Uh, so we're going to keep going. We're going to keep picking up fish, trying to bring them back to health. Um, I've heard so many theories. I really don't think anybody has a great handle on ick and the best way to handle it and cure it, if there isn't even a cure for it. And it just might be that the fish might have to just work itself out on its own. So, um, But we are going to, you know, I've taken it, uh, made a point to uh, test different theories out on ick. And so, um, I've done the hyposalinity, I've done the copper treatments, uh, I've done the higher temperature. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna monitor that. Um, I think so far the, one of the best things we've done is real light copper and uh, freshwater dip. Um, so anyway, let's uh, go ahead and do our uh, nitrate test. Okay, so uh, okay, do you have me in there? Sort of. Okay. Um, yep. So what we have today is the uh, uh, test strip, the API. So uh, the API requires you, we're going to go do that one first, requires you to shake the bottle up and it says 10 drops. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we want to shake this, we want to give it 30 seconds. So uh, cap is right here. And let's shake this up. We're going to give it 30 seconds. While we wait for that 30 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and get my next file ready. And this requires 5 milliliters also. Okay. So I have 5 milliliters here ready to go. And I'm going to start with 5 drops of A. One, two, three, four, five drops. And there's B. Let's get that little shake. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And let's do C. This one requires eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have to wait five minutes on this one. So we're going to have to time five minutes. We want to make sure that we give it that five minutes. But now my 30 seconds is up on the first test kit. So let's go ahead and add bottle number two, 10 drops. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right. So this one is all set. And this one requires you to also wait five minutes. So in five minutes, which will be the very end of the video, um, we'll be able to do a test on both of those. So in the meantime, let's take a look at the test strip results, which I've already gone ahead and dipped it in. This is by far the easiest method of tests, testing your water. One strip like this will give you all of the tests. So the nice thing about this is you can go ahead and 
dip it in there. Even if you were just looking to test nitrates, it's going to tell you if something else is, is, is creeping up on there. And in one case, uh, with the uh, purple tang that we were nursing back to health, I went to test the uh, water, noticed that nitrates, nitrites had uh, started to sp spike. So I'm not sure why exactly that was, but um, I just think it was such a big fish. It just required a lot of water changes. He was in a 30-gallon hospital tank. So, uh, you know, uh, we would have never known about the nitrites unless we had done this method of testing. So one nice thing about it is you're going to test for one thing, you get everything tested in one shot. These are a little bit more expensive per test, but I think they're well worth it. So we're going ahead and this is the salt water comparison chart. All you do is line it up and this will tell you where you are with the, uh, with the results. So as you can see, uh, we've got a little pink in here. We're between 20 and 40 on the nitrates. Uh, there's no ammonia. Uh, the alkalinity is ideal. And we have uh, uh, pH at about 8.2 to 8.4. Uh, somewhere in the middle of there, so the color is somewhere in here. So I think the uh, pH is ideal. So according to the uh, test strips, we're in good shape there all around. Now, API and um, the marine lab. <clears throat> we have about two minutes so far, and as you can see, uh, the API hasn't registered any color whatsoever in nitrates. And we already know from the test strip that there are nitrates in that water. Now, uh, the next color variation is five parts per million, so that's, um, you know, you know, this is not sensitive enough, really. I mean, we should, we should at least be in the orange to deep reds, and we don't have that right now. So, uh, nothing registering there. The Marine Lab is showing a little bit of coloration, and even though we have two minutes left, you can see that Clearly, we're in between the 25 and 5, 0.25 and 5, so we're talking about uh, 30 parts per million. So that's where we, that's where we uh, figured we were with the uh, first test kit. So we have uh, about 30 parts per million on the uh, marine land, 30 parts per million on the Tetra Easy Strips, and according to API, zero nitrates. Um, obviously extremely questionable here not showing any results so there's your um, if you're interested in highly recommend any either one of these this, these are the uh, two t uh, testing kits that I like this is a little bit more involved uh, you have to really read the card some of them uh, are, are shake and then wait and then add some more drops but uh, it's very very accurate colors are a little uh, um, tough to pinpoint an exact reading, but if there's something in your water, it will certainly show up here with the Marine Lab. Um, my favorite, though, is the strip. Um, time and time again, it has gone ahead and given us uh, very accurate results. So, uh, uh, basically, wanted to share that with you. This, If you are interested in acquiring a good test strip, which you should, a good test kit, which you should have, is the Marine Lab or the test strip. This is Tony Osalis. Uh, we're back here at Dom's Tank. I appreciate you guys watching. Feel free to give me a comment. Don't forget to rate, subscribe. We look forward to the next time we uh, bring you a video. Thanks for watching. God.